All right, so today we're going to check out a full logo reveal using Adobe Firefly AI and After Effects. All right, so I'm going to go with this logo as a reference. And in order to make that liquid gel logo, I'm also going to need to make this a reference image more rounded. So I'm going to start an Illustrator. I'm going to select the logo. Let's select the Erase tool. And I'm going to go here, just cut this off. And I'm also going to cut off here. Let's select the Direct Selection tool. Click. I'm going to press and hold Control. Click on one of the edge. Press on Delete. Press and hold Control. Repeat the same step. Delete. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to select this area. Drag it out. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. All right, so it's not that bad, but I also want to make it more thicker. So I'm going to select it. Let's go to Object, Path, Select Offset Path. I'm going to offset it with 10 pixels. Click OK. And I'm going to delete the skinnier one. All right, so now we've got the first frame and I'm going to need to duplicate all the artboard with the logo. Press Shift plus O. Press and hold Alt to drag it to the right. Also press and hold Shift. So the main point is the logo to stay intact in the same exact place. So don't move it. And I'm going to go back to the first one, zoom in, and I'm going to change the color to some gray, light gray. And let's go and select the pencil. I also going to double click on the pencil so you can see my settings. These are my settings. It's on smooth. Click OK. And I got to go and draw some blobs, basically. That is going to look something like this. And the main point is to be inside of the silhouette. Let's connect it. And I also going to recolor it to black. There you go. I'm probably going to add another one here. And basically, you can see these are the two frames that we're going to work with. So let's go to File, Export, select Export S rename it, make sure to check use artboard and select all. Click on export. I gotta go with 150 ppi, click OK. And let's go to Firefly, let's select image and click on generate. Here we're gonna go first with the aspect ratio on a one by one, select content type photo, scroll down and I gotta select hyper realistic, scroll down, select a light, studio light. And I'm going to go to the prompt, type in rounded gel blob with bubble particles, toxic green color texture, isolated on black background, top view. And click on generate. Select the one that you like. Let's go and upscale it. So anyways, let's scroll up. I'm going to change up the aspect ratio to widescreen. Now let's go to reference image, click on upload image. And here I'm going to go and select the first frame with the Nike with the blobs. Click on open, continue. I'm going to go and increase the strength. Let's scroll down. And here we got the reference image. Here we got to import the reference. Click on edit and select use a style reference. For the style reference settings, I'm going to decrease it right now to zero and zero. And now let's go to the prompt and I'm going to change this up to gel blobs. All right, so let's see what we got. Click on generate. All right, so this is how the first attempt looks like. I'm going to click on upscale and I'm going to go and choose the one that I like. Probably going to go with this one. Click on download. And here I'm going to go and repeat the same step with the logo. So let's go search for the logo here at the reference image. Click on the X and let's go and upload the official Nike logo. Select it, click on open and click on generate. So this is how it looks. You also can go and play around with the visual intensity. For example, you can increase it quite a bit. I'm going to try it out this way. Not a lot happened. We got like better lighting. And I'm going to go and select the ones that I like. I'm going to go with this one, click on download. All right, so from here, let's go back to Firefly and we're going to go to the image and let's switch it to video and click on generate. And here, make sure the aspect ratio is on widescreen. And from here, let's go to frame. We're going to go here to the first frame, click on upload. And I'm going to select the frame with the blobs in here. Click on open, click agree. And now we're going to go to the last frame, upload. And let's select the Nike logo. Click open and let's go to the prompt and type in logo forming from gel blobs, toxic green color texture, isolated on black background. And let's click on generate. All right, so let's see what we got. Mm, not really. So we got that hand in the way. So last time I tried it, it worked great, but seems like I'm having the same trouble that uh, the video generator is still in beta and, you know, it has its own flaws. All right, so I figured out another prompt. This is the logo melting together from gel blobs. All right, so this is it. I mean, this looks way better at the end of the day. It's not what I wanted, but this is the max I can do. So I'm going to go and um, click on download. So now the next step is I'm going to go to the frames and remove them. And I'm going to go to the first frame, click upload, and I'm going to select the finalized Nike swoosh, click on open, and I'm going to go with logo made of gel. I'm going to remove the blobs, 
and I'm gonna go to the end, slowly melting down the screen and click on generate. All right, so fingers crossed, hit play. And okay, it's not that bad, but let's speed this up. I'm gonna remove slowly. I also gonna add fast and dissolving all the way. And we got another version. Boom, explosions, come on, all the way down, almost there. All right, so after you are done with the animation, we can go to After Effects. All right, so let's create a new composition. And I'm gonna go with this and duration. I'm gonna make it 12, 0, 0. Click OK. And let's go and drag these guys in. And I can select this, press and hold Shift, bring it all the way out. And this is how it looks. And here at the middle, the colors are a little bit different. So you also can work this out, this little problem. I'm gonna go and select the last layer, also pre comp it. Pre comp, I'm gonna go with one select move all attributes in the new comp click ok i'm gonna do the same thing with the first pre-comp to select click and i'm gonna go with the first now select it let's double click on the screen and it's gonna open up separately i'm gonna bring it to the very beginning let's select the roto brush and here i'm gonna select you know every each blob one by one and if you go back here to the first screen you can see it is removed i also going to need to select this right here. And there you go. So if you go ahead and you can see it remove the background. And let's see, we're going to add some more in here like that. So you're going to need to double check if it missed anything. Also, if you want to remove some of the areas, you can press and hold Alt like this. And it's going to eliminate those areas. And let's go back to the first one. Com2. I'm going to bring this here, double click on the screen. Let's open it up and repeat the same process. And as you can see, we got like frame rate mismatch. Uh, I'm going to go back to the project and I'm going to double click on this guy right here, number two. So it's going to open up like this. I'm going to select it and double click again on this. And now I'm going to go and try to select. There it is. All right. So now but at least I'm going to go back to the original comp and now you have it without any background. We also can add an adjustment layer and add glow, double click on the glow and make it shiny, something like that. I think it looks pretty nice. Add some grain, add grain, preview, final, change up the preset, hit play. And pretty much this is how you do it fast in a nutshell. So this video took a little bit longer than I expected, but I hope you got something out of it. So yeah, pretty much this was it for today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.